it's really hard. It's really hard to be a dude, especially a straight dude, and to look hot nowadays. Because girls nowadays have weave, they have different hairstyles, they have makeup, they have different types of fashions and stuff. They have this uh, overall acceptance of like cosmetic surgery that can, that can honestly take them from looking like a two to genuinely across the board looking like a seven and an eight upwards. You can get the most bog standard, mid, ugly girl put her on a bit of a reg regiment plan maybe even just jab her with ozempic a couple of times make sure you get the makeup on you get the makeup looking right makeup that kind of suits their face if they have some things missing on their face that you want to add you can add it with some filler and other things rhinoplasty all this sort of stuff jaw shaving all this sort of thing people do right good makeup and good clothes to complement their shape boom they've gone from a two to a seven upwards what a dude what can you do if you're a guy what can you do if you're a guy? Get a haircut, cool. Work out, cool. Maybe improve your dress sense, cool. Big watch, cool. Car, cool. But obviously, your phys physicality, your physical doesn't improve that much. Your grill is still your grill. So this particular tweet broke my heart. Broke my heart when I saw it. This particular person on Twitter quote tweeted Sexy Red's post where she's standing with um, the one and only Don Tolliver at Wireless Festival. And she quoted it and said, what does Kali Uchi see in him? <laughs> what does Kali Uchi see in Don Tolliver? And it broke my heart when I saw this because I was like, look, no one's saying Don Tolliver is the cutest guy in the world, right? No one is saying that. But unfortunately for him, he doesn't have much to do. He doesn't have much to go. He can't look like this light-skinned guy in the back here. He doesn't have the face for it. His cranium is just too big. Maybe those braids will actually suit this light-skinned guy at the back here who's, you know, mugging it off of the camera. But when your head is that shape, when you've got that size of a head shape, which I think might be double the size of Sexy Reds, actually. His head shape here might be double the size of Sexy Reds, right? He's got almost got like this long back bottom section, long, long forehead. He's also got a receding hairline. There's not much you can do. Because I know in his head he wants dreads. He wants to look this way. He thinks it looks cute. And unfortunately, it just doesn't sit with his overall face. And I'm always actually curious, with his, with his cranium and with it being that big, why wouldn't you want to like close it up a bit and like, you know, sharpen the image of the bottom by growing a beard? But I'm assuming as a boy, he probably has grown a beard, doesn't look doesn't like how it looks, and prefers to go you know, without it and go clean shaven. So he's probably gone through that ugly phase of trying to grow a beard and it's all patchy and not really growing right. So he's like, you know what, fuck that. I'm going to shave it clean shaven. But unfortunately, he doesn't have the ability to put on foundation, to give himself cheekbones, to maybe just look and make, to change the proportion of his face or whatever, or just make himself look cuter on the eye. So all he has to do is just be, a you know, a very popular artist become very rich and famous and then hope that can kind of segue into ca catching the baddie which he did he's got Kali Uchis under his arm them him and Kali Uchis obviously been a couple for a long time right and they're obviously out here enjoying life and living the life of Riley so that's the only thing a man can have the only thing a man can have is success success might actually help you that's the only thing that might help to actually improve your looks success that's all nothing else can actually improve you because you're not really allowed to do plastic surgery. You're not really allowed to get braids, right? No one's going to let you get braids. No normal person will say it's okay for you to have braids. So all you can do really, all you can do is work out, get in best shape as you can, but still your proportions are going to be your proportions. In a particular picture here, it looks like he might be a little bit shorter than Caliucci's. I'm not really too sure. But there's not much you can do when your grill is your grill. You know, you, you don't have much to work with. That's all you have. So it's unfair when I see these tweets from ladies saying, what does Kaliuchi see in him? Because like, in my opinion, again, not to be mean to the lady, but Kaliuchi's, you know, she's cute, but I don't think she's that far out of his league. And also, there's something about Kaliuchi's and Dom Tolliver. I think they kind of look alike. There's something about their faces that almost looks alike. I think if you strip away the makeup, I think they kind of look alike. I'm not going to lie. They kind of have the same sort of like symmetry. Maybe it's because everything's bunched up in the middle of their faces. I don't know. There's something about them facial wise that makes me think they look alike. So I'm not really, you know, I'm not really that perturbed or like out, you know, um, I'm not really that shocked 
to see that they're both together because I think they both suit. I'm not going to lie. I think they actually look cute together in a weird way. They actually look really, really cute together. But I think it's just unfair that guys are trying, are kind of held to the same beauty standards as women when the majority of women out there aren't models. They're just girls who are able to, you know, put on makeup and improve their base level that they have. Because a, a girl doesn't really get judged on her base level, really and truly, which is weird because Kali, sorry, um, Sexy Red is, a, is one of the ones that you should be judging on her base level because her base level is, she's a cutie. If you've seen um, Sexy Red without makeup, you're like, wow. Sexy Red without makeup, without the red weave, she actually looks really pretty. And actually in this picture, actually, um, in this actual picture, you actually see she's got very clear skin here. The complexion is banging. She's probably one of those people, like, when you see her in real life, she probably stuns you a lot more. But there's a lot of girls out there who, without a full face of makeup, it's trouble for them out there. It's struggle city. But again, they have that ability. So God bless to them. But as a guy, there's not really much you can do. And I've honestly seen it once I've been doing my facials. And now I've been doing my facials. I, I, you know, I'm not going to say I'm as ugly as fucking Dom Tolliver. But now that I'm doing my facials, I've seen... Pause, by the way, facial. I said facials about twice there, pause. But now that I'm getting my facials, pause, um, I've kind of come to a realisation of why people are so eager to get plastic surgery. Because getting all that stuff done, doing it every day, like doing the flipping, what I do now, I do the cleanser, I do the toner, I do the, um, I do the mucus thing, pause. I do the vitamin C, I do the oils, I do the moisturizers, the sunscreens. It's all too much, bro, every day. Then you have a nighttime regime. Then maybe you have a regime for when you go on holiday. It's just, oh God, it's exhausting. So I completely, completely understand why some people decide, you know what, fuck this, man. Just put me under the knife. Just break this, crack that, realign this, saw that down, fill this up, buccal fat this, and then let me come out and, and at least have the base level good at where it needs to be. Because some people are blessed, as this guy here in the pink. You know, you just got a face. It is what it is. Nine times out of ten, most girls will think you're cute. And some people like Don Tolliver, you have to be a world-touring, successful R&B hip-hop artist, and then suddenly, oh shit, you're really cute now. You know, you're really cute. It's like that famous future quote. You're everyone's type when you're rich or something like that. Something along those lines. You're always going to be her type or you're everyone's type as long as you got money. And that is the that is the name of the game, actually. If a guy can improve his riz, if a guy can improve his game, he's out of here. That's all it takes. But that also isn't the easiest thing to do. So um, solidarity to all my ugly niggas out there. Solidarity to all my ugly niggas out there. Talking about solidarity...